natural resources are used to make food, fuel, and raw materials for the production of goods. All of the food that people eat comes from plants or animals. Natural resources such as coal, natural gas, and oil provide heat, light, and power. This quote I found on a South Carolina's report for the production of natural resources. And Albert Einstein once said, look deep into nature and then you will understand everything. So welcome. My name is Randall Reed Smith. I always say it's great pride that I serve on Governor Justice's cabinet as the secretary for the West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture, and History. And we are very, very happy to be here to do the groundbreaking of West Virginia. Nature designs a state that fuels a nation. I have members of the America 250th Commission here with me. If you all would stand, James, Senator, Darian, Todd, Dr. Upson. This is our legacy project for the state of West Virginia. When we started in 2021, the America 250th Commission, we were charged by Washington, D.C. to show how our state built our nation. Every state was charged, but no state, no state built this country with their natural resources greater than what West Virginia did. So Governor, we have 11 natural resources in this exhibit. We've got some people here with us from the uh, industry, and I'm gonna introduce them to you. Stand and wave. We've got our good friend, Chris Hamilton from the coal industry. We've got the Commissioner of Agriculture, Kent Leonard there. I should have oil and gas here. Charlie Bird, there you are, Charlie. It's Mary Elizabeth with you. We have people from Nucor here. Marky, where are you all? Come and say hello. So, we invited Salt, JQ Dickinson. Is anybody here? We invited Lumber, Dwayne O'Dell. And we invited Appalachian Glass, Fiestaware is Ceramics, and we have with us the Director of the Division of Natural Resources, Brett McMillian, who supplied all the rock for us. So Governor, this is gonna be great. It's a great day not only for the arts, but it's a great day for West Virginia because we now have the opportunity to tell our own story and how our natural resources built this country. Governor. Please make welcome, I always like to say, the greatest governor in the state of West, in the state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Okay, thank all of you so much, and thank thank you for being out here. I know it's a little warm. If when we get ready to leave, if you want to go see Baby Dog, you can come over to the car, and she'll be there, and I'll sit right there with you. I know that's really what a lot of you want to see, so you got me, and so just tough luck, you know. But uh, but with all that being said, you know, I didn't want to get her out here hot, uh, but uh, let me just say just this, you know. Randall is unbelievable, and the job he's done is second to none. And I'm not going to I'm not going to get into the introduction of everybody because I'll forget half of you. And uh, but I would just say just this: our state, when basically he's tasked with the effort, you know, of uh, by the federal government for us to say, what did we do? What did we do to contribute? Well, for crying out loud, it's easy. It's really, really, really easy to think, what did we do? I mean, the world is awakening to you right now. It is unbelievable what is happening all across the world. See, you were supposed to be that backward state that was not educated and on and on and on. 
And now the world is seeing just what you really are. You're true craftsmen. You're absolutely great people that are faith-based and good, good, solid citizens and great people that know the difference between right and wrong. It doesn't matter just what you can get by with. We know values and we know real principles. So with all that being said now, as I said, the world is awakening to you. Now let's tell our story. Let's tell it even more. I mean, really, at the end of the day, our natural resources fueled this nation. Not only did we fuel the nation, we built the world in steel production, on and on and on. Now we have Nucor coming. So many different things are all happening all across the land. We should be really proud of who we are. You see, that's the biggest thing that really the gift that I wanted to give you more than anything. I wanted you to be proud of who you are, really proud, you know, because I have believed it with my soul, with all in me, you're the best of the best of the best. Now, with that being said, if you're the best of the best, for all practical purposes, in many situations, we had to change our image, and we have. Now, I would say this, I'm only going to be here another five months or so, and then I'm going to probably move on to something else. I'll be here to try to help you in any way I possibly can, but just remember just this. We've got a jump start right now, and we don't need to back up. What we need to do is take the jump start and really just multiply it over and over and over and over and over for the goodness all across the land, especially in this state. Now, let me just go back to our natural resources just one second. Just think about it. Right today, there's people on, in coal mines that are multiples of thousands of feet underground, and maybe the coal seam is that high, and maybe they can't even sit up, not only stand up, all day long. There's a lot of machinery running and everything. It's loud. It's dusty. And in lots of ways, it's really dangerous. And when, then, then they go home, and they're entitled to be able to go home safely every single day. And they've come with their dinner bucket, and we want them going home with their dinner bucket and coming back tomorrow. Because they've given so much, it's unbelievable to each and every one of us over and over and over again. And for God's sakes of living, the moment that we take that for granted, the moment we forget that shame on us, and the same is true for our gas workers, our oil workers, our steel workers, our iron workers, on and on and on. The natural resources of this state go way, way, way beyond coal and oil and gas. They go to water. They go to agriculture. I said in my briefing just a little while ago, our farmers absolutely were just burned up in many situations this summer. Crops completely lost. People that come out and provide you food in abundance like you can't possibly imagine, please say prayers for them in every way. I mean, those people get up every day, normally speaking, at daylight and work till dark and are driving a 10-year-old pickup truck and having an annual income of maybe whatever, 18000 28000 whatever it may be, and they love it. They love what they're doing. And their contribution to all of us is off the chart. And as dry as it got and as hot as it was, don't you think that wasn't really tough on a lot of folks in West Virginia and all across our land? Remember them. Please remember them. Remember these people that absolutely have done great work for all of us. And remember this exhibit that we're going to have here now forevermore. And this man right here holds a tremendous amount of the responsibility. So for all of us, we celebrate today. Randall asked me to say a prayer, and I'll do it. I'll do it. And the prayer, let's just bow our heads just one second. Dear Heavenly Father, help us never forget. You know, in the Bible it talks about having given talents and burying them and then making goodness happen out of them. We made that goodness happen out of our natural resources in every way. Absolutely. West Virginia, please bless this state forevermore. 
and all the great work that all of us have done and help us never, ever forget the contribution that those great workers and these great natural resources have given us every day. In Christ's dear name, amen. Okay, Governor, real quick before we dig the shovel, I got to introduce Todd Gunter here. He represents Shelley Moore Capito. Senator Capito is one of only four United States senators that sits on the national America 250th Commission. And she has been very, very helpful. Todd, thank you for being here. Todd represents her on our state commission. And then I want to say thank you to all of our colleagues from the, se from the cabinet, because you always say we pull the rope together. Secretary Caruso back there. Secretary Persley, I saw you. Where'd you go? There she is. Uh, Jimmy Riston, Secretary Riston. Then, of course, you've got, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Jill. Say, so got Secretary. You're, he's my stage director. Uh, Secretary Pack, <laughs> Secretary Bailey, and Dr. Delegate Divine Director Jill Upson of the Herbert Henderson Minority Affairs Office. Did I miss any of the cabinet secretaries? Because I know some others were coming. Oh, Jimmy. I already said oh, Jimmy. I said Jimmy Riston. Okay, and then we got Secretary Diaz from Veterans Assistance. I can't see back there. Who's there? Oh, Secretary Young is back there too. Thank you all for showing up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dig dig the, the dirt and I'm gonna introduce everybody up here real quick. So Charles Morris is director of the West Virginia State Museums. Senator Jack David Woodrum, who is on the commission representing uh, Craig P. Blair. Of course, we've got our commissioner, Kent Leonhardt. We've got James Bailey, who's on the commission as Secretary of, of Commerce. We have got Larry Pack, who's Secretary of Revenue, because you can't do anything without the money. We have our project director who built the West Virginia State Museum 15 years ago that Travel Channel says, if it's not the best state history museum in the country, it's definitely one of the best. Jim Hunt. We have our general contractor, C.R. Neighborgall from Neighborgall down in Huntington, Cabell County, the best county in the state. <clears throat> and then we have Kelly Estep who designed it from Chapman. So Governor, let's all get our hard hats on. Let's get our shovels. We're going to count. We're going to thank everybody for coming. Blessed are the brief. You all need to go back and get cool. Here we go. Give me a hard hat or a shovel. <laughs> right, Governor, where, where'd it go? Just help them, Randall. No, 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 Governor. Uh, it's all right. Don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Are you ready? Everybody. We're going as hard as we can. Trouble. It's about fossil fuels, baby. All right. <laughs> <laughs>